All right, let's talk about lessons you can learn from young entrepreneurs. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. Today, I want to share with you some lessons that I have learned recently or been reminded of recently from some young entrepreneurs I was able to connect with. The two gentlemen from Nepal, uh, happy to have met you, and I hope you're watching and look forward to maybe helping you in the future. Uh, they reached out to me after seeing some of the videos on the channel, and uh, we scheduled a time to talk so I could hope hopefully point them in the right direction. And what I love about doing that meeting young entrepreneurs is you oftentimes can learn just as much from them as hopefully they learn from you. If you have an open mind when you meet with them and don't come to it with, you know, I'm the expert and have everything to share. And I was reminded of a couple of things. So I've got two lessons from that meeting that I want to share with you. And then I also want to share with you the biggest mistake I see young entrepreneurs make. So the two lessons that I learned in that meeting was that our economy, uh, the markets, are global. Uh, and you shouldn't be surprised by that, but uh, you need to be thinking bigger than your local market when you're thinking about your business. Online businesses, startups, they've all started to figure that out, that the market is global through technology like Zoom and other, other types of services. You can connect with people uh, digitally across the globe. Uh, just, just in this example, these two young men were from Nepal. Uh, they met uh, early in my morning and then very late at night for them. And we, ch we jumped on a Zoom call and had about a 15, 20 minute conversation about their startup, about what they were wanting to accomplish. And I was able to provide them some input. So we're in a global economy. Don't forget that when you're thinking about the business you want to build or are building, you know, it's important to understand who your target market is. But that target market doesn't always have to be local or even in your country. It could be overseas. You know, one of the things I've learned in my online business journey is that uh, clearly most of the people who watch my content uh, are from the United States. But then the second most uh, followers I have come from India. And I have uh, people from all over the globe. I even have clients that I work with from all over the globe. So George, hi, from Bulgaria. Met George through YouTube and have been working with him right now in his startup. So we're in a global economy. And that's something I want you to keep in mind. So the second thing I learned is that content marketing is a great way to expand the reach of your business. Now, a couple of years ago, I was part of a group called the Content Marketing Academy out of the UK. That group is no longer around, but the lessons I learned there were really important. And the whole idea is that if you produce valuable content that people uh, want to see, if you answer the questions that people have, you can then increase your brand and your reach of your brand and people will reach out to you if they feel like you have answers to the questions that they have. So a lot of the times when I'm producing videos or, or blog posts or social media posts or any of those, any of that content, I'm constantly asking myself, what are the questions that the folks out there that I am targeting with my content, what are the questions that you have? You know, one of the biggest questions I get is how do I meet investors? So I have an ebook around that topic. I have an online course around that topic. I do a lot of videos that talk about meeting investors and what to say when you meet investors and all these different things. So content marketing is a great way to establish your brand, but it's also an excellent way to increase the reach of your brand by producing hopefully what is considered decent or quality content that people want to watch. And so I think it's a, it's something you should really think about, you know, content marketing takes time to build upon. Um, so if you don't have a lot of money to pour into advertising, then you may think about putting extra uh, time into your content marketing, vice versa. If you've got a lot of money to pour into advertising, you may do less content marketing. So you should think about your marketing mix, but certainly as part of that content marketing should be, uh, should be something that you think about. And if you're not familiar with the concept, just Google it. It's out there all over the place. Or uh, take a look at my friend Chris Marr uh, from Impact here in the United States, uh, Marcus Sheridan's group. They do excellent content marketing work and share lots of valuable information for free. So those are the two things that I was reminded of by meeting with these two young entrepreneurs that we're in a global market and that content marketing really uh, is powerful. I want to share with you now kind of the biggest mistake that I see young or new entrepreneurs make when they're launching a business. And it was definitely one of the, these two young gentlemen 
uh, ran into, I shared with them my feedback on this. And it's that don't become so enamored with your idea that you don't put in the legwork or the effort on the front end to do your research. You know, I recently uh, scroll back and look at some of my older videos, maybe two or three ago, I talked about good questions to include in a business plan or a pitch deck. There are three big questions that I wanted these two gentlemen to think about. Their idea uh, they felt was unique and, and had a great value proposition, uh, but I was able to share with them in no time that the idea that they have is not unique. It's being done by a lot of companies and by a lot of people who have been in the industry they're wanting to go into a lot longer than they have. So there's tons of competitors, tons of quality competitors, and that's okay if you can carve out a niche inside that market for your business. So be careful when you come up with an idea, believing that it is so good and then rushing ahead with your business model before you do your research. That's one of the biggest mistakes young and new entrepreneurs make. I've made it myself in the past. Now, before I start something, I research it to death. Uh, and so do your research. And these big questions you should be asking yourself is who are these competitors? What do they do well? that I can't do and what don't they do well that I can do. And that will start to lead you along with some other questions into the value proposition that you should be looking to offer. So again, don't get in a hurry. I know it's exciting when you come up with an idea. I love the enthusiasm that young entrepreneurs have, but I want you to slow down just a little bit, do your research, make sure there's a fit for what you're trying to offer and then go about approaching that problem instead of the larger problem. In the instance of these two gentlemen, all I did was shift the target market to a younger set of customers that I think they should be focusing on based on their own experience, where they're at in life and what they have to offer. Instead of a more mature audience, I wanted them to think uh, earlier in the stream, as we would call it, they would think of young entrepreneurs themselves. So, um, we're in a global market. Make sure you think about where you can have your offering. Uh, think about using content marketing to increase your brand and increase your reach. And then be really careful about rushing too far ahead with your idea, falling in love with your own idea and being convinced that it is a pain point other people are suffering from and that no one else is providing a solution to. Do your research, know the answers to these questions, and you'll be a lot better off and have a lot better experience. Anyways, happy holidays to everybody. Uh, until next time, hope you find your voice. Have a great day.